Hey guys, it's the Soul Coffee, and today I have some Monster Legends Weeks video with some brand new leaked movesets for you guys, as well as some new leaked events. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so the first leak is that there's going to be a new a Christmas event where you will be able to get Helio M, Jingle Hills, and Clara Claus. So those are pretty decent monsters, but the main one you are going to want to try to get is Comet Storm, because he's a brand new monster and he will just be better than all of these. But the other ones will be pretty decent as well. And then we have Comet Storm's moveset right here, so he's going to be a Fire Dark Attacker with double damage and a burn. So he has an AoE and Nightmares right here with moderate dark damage. He also has a Heavy Fire Damage with Stun. He has a double damage with massive dark damage, which is pretty cool. He also has an Ignite with an extra turn, which is pretty good. He has a Nightmares Ignite and Burn in one move, which is really cool, and an AoE burn. So yeah, it seems pretty pretty decent these are actually some pretty good moves i do like them quite a bit so yeah, definitely go and try to get comet storm out of the event and then we also have his description right here if you want to go ahead and read that and then we have another move set for grok max he's going to be a metal and nature tank with increased self healing and bleed and daze so he's going to have an aoe regen which is pretty good he also has a single target daze and healing he has a heals all allies by 30 percent with life regen which is pretty good he can heal all allies by 40% with increased healing to itself. He also has an AoE at Daze and Bleed, and he has a Daze and Bleed and a 30% heal. So this monster, I honestly don't really like him that much. I don't really like the heal moves that much. They don't seem super good, but I guess he'll be at least decent. I want to know what event he's going to be in. Oh, he's going to be a paid monster. So yeah, he's definitely not worth buying. Don't buy him. And then we have his description right here if you want to go ahead and read that. And then we have Comet Storm's traits. So he has Immune to Burn, Immune to Nightmares, and AoE Burn. That is really bad. He just has really bad traits, which is really disappointing because I did like his moves quite a bit. But yeah, I guess that is kind of expected. They haven't made very many good monsters recently. And then we also have a little Aeneas right here. So he's going to be an Earth and Metal Attacker with Stun Hater, Stun, True Vision, and a Blind Immunity. So he has a massive earth damage, he has a single target stun, he has an AoE metal damage, he has true vision and skill mirror which is decent. He also has an AoE metal, he has a stun hater and a blind, and yeah that is pretty much it. This is a really bad monster, this is like really really bad. And this is going to be out of the new event on a Friday, so yeah I'm not really sure if that's even worth doing. I believe it is the bounty hunt right here, oh and it costs money, so yeah definitely not worth it. So yeah, very, very bad monster. Most of these are just kind of bad. The only really good one is the first one, Comet Storm, and he is free. Or at least as far as I can tell, he is free. So yeah, definitely go ahead and try to get him. And then we have a new Relic Citizen's Armor. So it can go ahead and apply control immunity to all allies and give armor to all allies. It can also do damage to the attacker, which is pretty cool. And then it can also do more damage to the attacker with a blind, which is pretty cool. So yeah, it's decent, pretty good, pretty good Relic. I definitely suggest getting that one. And then we have the checklist for the Season 2 and Season 3 of the Multiversal Era. So if you want to go and know where any monsters are going to be in, they're all right here. The main ones that we have just looked at is Brock Max. He's not very great. And then for some reason, Little Aeneas isn't on here. But the common storm is he is on here for PvP. So he's going to be a PvP monster, which is pretty cool. Definitely go and try to get him. And then we have another upcoming monster named Stalkrax, which is pretty cool. He seems like a cool name for a monster. And then we also have a fraternity event for Jolene, which is going to happen. So if you want to buy gems, definitely make sure to do it during that event. And then there's also going to be a Christmas limited time book, which is pretty cool. And Jolene is also apparently going to be inside of a maze. So go ahead and get Jolene out of either of those two events. And then there's also going to be an equipment challenge for the citizen's armor, which is the one we just looked at. Yeah, definitely go and try to get that one if you can. And yeah, those are going to be all of the leaks for this video. Let me know down in the comments which events you are most excited for and which monster you think is the best out of these three. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Over to like, share, and subscribe. Goodbye.